Some high winds come up and blew my welding trailer off its stand. So today I'm going to jack it up and get it back on the on a stand and then hook up to it, pull it out of here. Well, we got the piranha, also known as a Tasmanian devil. Uh, quite, a, quite the ankle biter. It bit me three times. Me and that dog don't seem to get along too well unless I'm throwing the ball for him. And then uh, we got our doggone stick supervisor out here, of course. That dog uh, doesn't get uh, too far away from me when I'm out here working in the yard. Just a small issue jacking this up is the uh, snow and the ice have built up around the trailer but there's nothing underneath of it so there's no level place to get the jack under there so I'm having to scoot some snow under there and put a block under there and kind of mess around with it until I can get a jack to set upright enough to jack this thing up. One of the disadvantages with having uh, everything up here on top of the hill is these high winds will come up once in a while and uh, cause issues with some of this stuff. I just got a couple little welding jobs I got to do and my youngest grandson run the welder out of uh, gas the other day so I'm going to have to prime the carburetor and get it going again here. He was welding on that uh, shaker table that we used from a friend of ours. Some of this stuff is kind of froze down but at least it's not too bad. It's warm enough out here today to yeah, stuff's coming up pretty good. Next little trick is to get backed up here and get hooked up to it. But, uh, use enough patience, it's not too difficult. It's, if you have two people, it makes it quite a bit easier, but nobody else is around right now. Doggone supervisors are keeping a pretty close eye on what I'm doing. I'm waiting for uh, me to throw the ball again, but I think they lost the ball. Well, next task on the list is getting gas in the welder and getting that carburetor primed so that it's uh, running again. And then uh, I can do these two little welding jobs.